Hey guys, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I think it's safe to say that the last episode was absolutely stunning. It was just perfect. We finally came to a conclusion to the Cell Saga. We had a bunch, and I mean a bunch of individual Z warriors take a beating from Cell. And then we also saw the iconic duel between Gohan and Goku. We did the father-son Kamehameha to just completely obliterate Cell. And we also saw a really, really, really fucking dope ass cutscene where Vegeta goes insanely crazy because Cell just, you know, fucked Trunks up. And of course, we had Gohan turning Super Saiyan 2, which was as epic as always. It's kind of funny because back in the days, I'm not sure if this is 100% true, but I've always heard that Gohan was supposed to be the strongest out of all of them. And then they just changed their mind once they went into like Majin Buu and all that stuff, but Dragon Ball Z was supposed to end in the Cell Saga, I believe, and just Gohan being the strongest one at the end. I don't know. I've heard multiple things, but just sharing my opinions with you guys. Thank you so much for tuning back. I'm really excited to start this new arc, this new saga. It's going to be awesome. We are nearing the end, although there is still a lot, and I mean a lot of action to be displayed here. Sit back, relax, and let's do this. We've got Dende. It's okay. You're at Kami's look. Reviving people. It's over. Gohan took care of Perfect Cell. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. <clears throat> Gohan? Yeah. He was unbelievably strong. Even you wouldn't be able to touch him. You owe Krillin your thanks. He risked his life to save you once Cell spit you out. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I, uh, I couldn't have just left you there. Oh, I think I get it. You like her, don't you, Krillin? You <laughs> like 18. Don't blurt it out like that. <laughs> so what, little man? You want me to hold your hand or something? Is that what you want? Damn, that's cold, man. Hey, what's your problem? Is there any way to treat the guy that saved your life? Huh? Calm down, Yamcha. We need to focus. We have to get all the Dragon Balls and use them to revive Trunks and everyone else who was killed. Uh, right. Hmm. Uh... Although as much as I'm excited to see Gohan go to high school and stuff like that, I've always missed him as a teenager. I always thought that he was so freaking cool. And then in Dragon Ball Super, they made him into a complete... Just, they just ruined him. Until like the end, which was really cool. But. Oh. Uh, what <laughs> is that? Uh, please bring back all the people who were killed by Cell. Consider it done. Uh, 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 where am I? Uh, all right. Interesting. I still can't sense Goku's energy. Remember, he cannot be revived. State your second wish. Wait, wait! Can't you bring back Goku? I'm afraid not. Goku has already been brought back from the dead once before. State another wish. Well, there you go. He can't do <clears throat> it. <clears throat> no. There's got to be a way. We can figure this out. Hey guys, it's me, Goku. Goku? <laughs> I'm talking to you from Otherworld. Listen up. So, I was talking to Bulma earlier, and she mentioned the fact that I've always got all these bad guys coming after me. And when you really think about it, it sucks how right she is. All that's to say, I think it's probably better for the Earth if I just stay here. Don't get me wrong. 
I'm not trying to make a heroic sacrifice or anything. I'm actually getting some special treatment here because I saved the Earth so many times. Normally when you die, you turn into a spirit. But I'm getting to keep my body. That's so dope. Plus, I've got plenty of super strong people from the past to keep me entertained. Which, I'm not gonna lie, is cool. That doesn't mean I don't feel marginally bad for Chi Chi and Gohan. But you guys don't need to bring me back. <laughs> He's so fucking weird, dude. Gohan's already way stronger than me now anyway, so you'll be fine. Uh, Dad, that's not true. Gotta go. Bye. Dude, that's so weird. Okay, like, I've always thought. Sure look me up or whatever when you die. Bye-bye. Uh, you know, if you ask me... He seemed awfully happy and upbeat for a dead guy. That's what I'm saying. It's always so bit so weird about I that grow stuff. I'm tired of waiting. State your second wish. Do you not have a wish? Hmm. Uh, that's right. So what should we do? Are we going to wish for something? Shinron, can you make Android 17 and 18 human again? That cannot do. The androids are far beyond the reach of my power. Uh, well, I guess it was kind of a long shot. He just wanted some of that. You know what I'm saying? Android 17? <laughs> I thought he was dead. No, he was just brought back with the others killed by Cell, so he's alive now. Well, then can you at least remove the explosive devices that they have implanted in their bodies? That I can do. There, the devices have been removed from their <laughs> bodies. Farewell. Krillin, why would you wish for something like that? Well, I felt bad for them, you know? I mean, who wants a bomb inside their body? <laughs> so true. And that's how she falls in love with Krillin. But why remove the device from Seventeen's body, too? Well, uh, I thought Seventeen and Eighteen might be good for each other. Uh I don't think I'm ever going to understand it. This whole love thing. You idiot. Uh? Seventeen and I are brother and sister. I told you to leave me alone. And don't think I'm going to thank you for removing the bomb. Ever. Later. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Hey, she said later. Maybe that means she wants to see you again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I'd be a lot happier. Hmm. Uh, I guess if it weren't for the fact that Goku's not here. Well, I think I'm going to head back. Chaozu's probably worried about me. Right. I'm gonna get going, too. So, Trunks, when are you heading back to the future? I think I'll stay one more night and get some rest before leaving tomorrow. All right. <clears throat> we'll see you off tomorrow, then. Mr. Piccolo, are you gonna stay here now? Yeah, that's the plan. Would it be okay if I visited you every now and then? Of course. Bye, Mr. Popo. Bye, Dende. Stop by whenever you want. Little does Trunks know that he is going into a really messed up future. He goes back to his timeline and then, of course, we see 
and super you got goku black amasu really bad really bad his 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 future he doesn't know yet but his future is bad my father oh yeah trust me he was pretty upset when you were <laughs> killed he flipped out and went all berserk on cell wow my father he did that <laughs> I guess this is kind of like the ending of the Soul Saga chapter. Yeah, I'm Trunks off. goes back now. Goodbye, Trunks. Hmm. Good luck in your future. Go on. Cut his hair. Thanks. Trunks. I'll do my best. Should have stayed with the long hair, man. You don't know how damn sick you, you look. You guys take care of yourselves. Have a safe trip back. Take it easy. Later. <laughs> hey, damn, dude, he's hardcore. It's too hardcore. <laughs> What's your fucking son? What the hell is that? Hey, it's me, hmm. Goku. With there Cell go. totally gone, Earth is finally at peace once again. Oh yeah, baby, let's fucking go. Hard to go. believe that was seven years ago. I can't help but wonder what everyone's up to. Well, look at that. Gohan's as tall as me now. Hmm. I'd love to go a few rounds with everyone again. Yo, this Stay is gonna be for too the next sick. Of Dragon Ball Z, this is gonna Galactic be showdown with the mighty Majin Buu. This is gonna be you too really sick. You really don't want to miss it. Trust me. We're going to have so many things. We're going to have the tournament. We're going to have Majin Vegeta. We're going to have Majin Buu. We're going to have Super Saiyan 3 Goku. We're Ultimate Gohan, Super Buu, Kid Buu. This is going to be an insane saga. After a long and hard-fought battle that cost him his father's life, Gohan finally vanquishes Cell. Trunks vows to bring peace back to his time and returns to the future. A few days had passed since Trunks returned to the future. Gohan's hair saw finally prodded Chi Chi to ask a question. Gohan, how <laughs> long do you intend to keep that look? Since Dad died, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Trust me, Mom, I have my reasons. Well, suit yourself. But for the record, I much prefer hmm. your normal look to this gaudy Super Saiyan business. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You know, you get bigger with each passing day. And you look more like your father, too. Y you think so? Your fashion choices are yours to make, provided you keep up with your studies. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Hmm. Goten looks identical to Goku. I'm not sure where to start. Maybe Piccolo can give me some good advice. Oh, wow. So we're still playing with uh, Gohan at this age. Cool. Hey. Hey, Hello? Gohan. Oh, hi, Krillin. <laughs> Man, you really showed self who's boss, huh? I always knew you were strong, but wow, you definitely, you're definitely Goku's kid. Does make me wonder, though, how much stronger could you get if you trained some more? <laughs> then again, maybe there's no need for you to train. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, more bad guys, more bad guys could show up. Maybe we should keep up with our training just in case. Just as smart as always, Gohan. But yeah, we have no idea what's gonna happen from here on out. I should train when I can. Anyway, don't work yourself out too hard. Cell's gone, after all. Thank you. Later. A new menu has been added to the training grounds. Okay. All right, so head toward the Kami's lookout on the world map. All right, sounds good. Get some advice from Piccolo. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna get some of these uh, Z orbs. There's two big juicy ones back here. Oh yeah. What's up, Piccolo? By the way, I've never really walked in here. Hmm. Interesting.
Uh, um, Piccolo? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Can you be my father? Sure, yeah. But why are you still a Super Saiyan? Huh? I don't really know how to explain why, but I'm trying to continue my training. You still feel responsible for your dad's death, huh? Yeah, that's part of it. I need to make sure I'm strong enough to protect the Earth now. That's why I'm still a Super Saiyan. I want my body to get used to this form a bit more. I see. Hmm. So it looks like I didn't need to worry after all. Huh? Since Frieza showed up, even after we believed he was dead, I always thought I had to be on my guard. But if Cell or some new androids show up, you're the only one that has what it takes to beat them. So I planned on giving you a push in the right direction when you needed it. But I guess you really didn't need me to do that. Oh, so that's what you mean. It makes me happy to hear you have so much faith in me. <laughs> so, you got a more concrete training regimen planned? Just being a Super Saiyan isn't going to cut it, you know. Yeah, it's just... I still don't know what else I can do. Hmm, I guess that's understandable. You pretty much did all you could do in the hyperbolic time chamber. Do you have any ideas? With regards to your strength, you're probably as strong as you can get right now, so you won't see much rapid improvement in terms of raw power. What you lack is mental fortitude. Mental fortitude? Your dad, he knows how to remain focused in battle. You, on the other hand, you're still too emotional. <laughs> you might be right about that. If I had focused more, I could have prevented Cell from self-destructing. So, what should I do? Hmm. You might not like this suggestion, but why don't you try training with Vegeta? He's the strictest guy around when it <laughs> comes to emotion. <laughs> and not just with others, but with himself too. He might be able to provide some insight into the mental aspects of combat. Understood. I'll go ask Vegeta if he can help me out. All right, off to Capsule Corporation. All right, so Vegeta, is he in here? No, that's Android 21. That's Bulma. He might just be here. He's not here. Oh, wait. Yes, he is. All right, this looks pretty good. I bet this tastes really good. He's inside the gravity room. What do you want? Would you <laughs> mind fighting me so I can get stronger? My dad died because of me. I need to get stronger so something like that doesn't happen again. It's up to me to maintain peace now. I need to protect Earth in my dad's place. Don't be absurd. You think Kakarot's <laughs> dead because of you? You're the one that's going to replace him? You arrogant, spoiled little brat. Huh? B but I... Damn it. I wasn't planning on fighting ever again, but I've changed my mind now. Come at me. I'll beat the arrogance out of you. <laughs> oh, God. Ha! All right, let's do this. I'm going to see if you have what it takes to fill in for Kakarot. Okay. Come on, Vegeta. I know we love you or not, but uh, I am Super Saiyan Gohan. And right now, I am pretty powerful. As you may see, I am extremely quick and extremely dangerous. Oh, fuck. Come here, bitch. Body impact is the one that I need to do. Okay. For the combo. I mean, Vegeta, Vegeta is really good regardless, so... I'm not like... Oh, God. I'm not worried about losing, but I know that he's... He's a worthy opponent, a worthy opponent, but now I gotta go Super Saiyan 2. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
Oh, come on, man. Dude, you're wasting my Super Saiyan 2 moment here, man. Come on, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that, my guy. Uh. Fuck that, Vegeta. Damn, dude. Can't believe I wasted all that shit. All good. And the Super Saiyan 2 drains my, my energy so badly. Another Masenko, possibly? Oh, yes. <laughs> so now when I have... I always wondered when... I always wonder when they're on red, like, how do you stop that, right? And I guess now I'm finding out, and I had an idea before, but now I can confirm it. That if you do, like, a body smash or a body impact or a meteor sledge, one of those, like, really strong melee attacks, you can just break through their, through their red moment or guard, whatever the fuck you want to call that. I need, I need some key here. Hold on. Get off of me, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> he almost got me. God damn. See? Right there. You break through it. Before, I wasn't able to break through. I just... I didn't know if it was working or... I just didn't know about it, but... I guess now, by doing that, it's more than enough. Makes me sick how much you remind me of him. Vegeta? Nothing. We're done. Remember that at the end of the last episode, Vegeta said he wasn't gonna fight anymore. His Kakarot's gone, so. Or Goku's gone. You were far more powerful than this when you defeated Cell. You were holding back, weren't you? Hmm. No, that's not true. A soft, spineless brat like you could never replace Kakarot. Stupid child. Yeah. <laughs> Vegeta's right. I can't define who I am based on who my dad was. I. I need to do some serious soul searching. I, I'd better stay a Super Saiyan a little longer. Mom's not going to be happy about it, though. Greetings. Is that Dendy? What's going on? <laughs> I've actually got a favor to ask you. Could, could you come to the lookout when you're free? Well, I was just there, you know. The lookout, sure thing. I'll be Thank right there. Thank you so much. Hey, it's ten day. Greetings. So you yes. said you needed a favor, right? I'm thinking about uh, increasing, increasing Shenron's power, increasing Shenron's mm, power. Let's see. We could have another villain as powerful as so on our hands at any moment. I want to be prepared. But in order to increase his power, I need some things. I was hoping you could come help me. What do you think? Having a more powerful Shenron could really help us out. But will you help me? I mean, of course. Thank you so much. What are the materials that you need? Rainbow yeah. crystal. All right, good. I'm glad it's only one. Right. I was scared that it was going to be like Excuse a bunch me. of fucking materials. One second, please. Rainbow crystals are extremely rare. Finding one won't be easy. In fact, I can't even tell you where to begin. What? Oh, God. <sighs> I scoured the entire planet from up here, but I still can't find it. Uh, hey. Fortune teller Baba might know where to find huh? it. Yes. Yeah, her readings are spot on every time. Great idea, Mr. Popo. Wow. Arthur sure has quite a few impressive individuals. <laughs> Looks like she's in West City. Wow, in the city, huh? That's rare. I guess I'll head over there then. Hey. Of course. Her services come with a price. Let's see. That's right. Here. You got a bag of gold what? dust. Sure. Matters of our guardianship dwarf matters of money. Matters of the guardianship. Okay. Besides, it's not like we use money up here anyway. Right. Good point. Okay, Dende. Yes. I'll be back in a flash. Um, how is that sound? <laughs> Say no more. Rainbow crystals? Yes. What? Whoa. How'd you know that? Oh, oh, oh. I'm a fortune teller. 
It's literally what I do all day. You. My fee, please, in your pockets. Hi. <laughs> Hand it over the bag of gold dust. Very well. Hmm. I see what this is. I see a ship sunken south of the Kami House. What? Sunken ship. So the ores in the Indeed. ocean. Quite so, consigned uh, to briny oblivion, the vessel once stocked with the crystal you seek. Find the ship and the cargo. You so uh, we'll be spilling out of the entry frame. Okay. So we gotta go to the uh Master Roshi's island, and thankfully they have been marked on the map. Right. Try not to drown. Gotcha. Dude, thank god. I thought I was gonna have to freaking Oh my god. I thought I was gonna have to like, I don't know, do something else. Alright, guys. Officially in Master Roshi's Island. I think I can take this guy. I'm gonna try and avoid some contact from these freaking villains. Because they can be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Alright, so probably right down there. Got him. <laughs> Pretty easy. Right. I can't believe a ship that large sink. Yo, for real, that's pretty huge, huh? Could be this one, right? Pick it up. Rainbow crystal. It. Anything else interesting here or what? Oh, look at this. Holy crap. This kind of fish every day. Oh. oh, fuck. Found a bunch of little orbs here. Oh, D medals. Pick up a few of these. Oh yeah. Let's go. There's a lot of energy in this thing. I bet All this right. tastes really good. Alright, now we can head back to Kami's lookout. Alright, guys. Ten day. Here we go. Yes. So what it is uh so what is it you're trying to do exactly earth earth is dragon balls aren't operating at their full potential this will even uh even the gap between them and their making counterparts nice hold on please i'm pretty sure we're really close to the uh little transition phase between now and the beginning of the Majin Buu saga. What? Try using the Dragon Balls. You should be able to make some better wishes right. now. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, nice. So you got a Soul Emblem, community level. Shenron. Back home. This should be interesting. All right, mom, Hi, let's go. Lord, what's up? Come home? Um, yeah, let's go. Are you sure you want to continue the story? You won't be able to collect the Dragon Balls and your party will be disbanded. Um, yeah, sure. Finally got your priorities straight, huh? That's my boy. While you're at it, how about losing the wild hair? <laughs> Fine, I'll tone it down around the house. You'll be going to a respectable school one day. We can't have your classmates thinking you're some renegade rock star. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll limit it to my training. School, huh? huh? That'll be something. Nice. Thanks to Gohan and his father, the planet was freed from Cell's evil clutches. The people of Earth were finally able to live in peace once again. However, during times of peace, people have a tendency to foolishly grow complacent. Such is the fate of mankind. Hmm. Oh, snap. This is gonna be intense. Oh, 
shit. Majin Buu reborn. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no, no. This is not good. About now, of course, years passed, seven years since later. The confrontation with Cell. This is the quiet settlement of Satan City. Here resides Mr. Satan, the man mistakenly believed to have <laughs> saved the planet. The city was renamed after him for his heroism. Gohan is now 16 years old. <laughs> That's awesome. With no schools anywhere near his country home, he had no choice but to do homeschooling and correspondence courses. But eventually, his mother, Chi-Chi, decided to send him to a high school in Satan City. Armed bandits began appearing so frequently in Satan City that Gohan began to run into them on his way to school from time to time. To combat the crime in the city, Gohan would transform into a Super Saiyan. <laughs> and make short work of those that disturb the peace to protect his identity gohan made sure to leave the scene as quickly as possible the mysterious hero came to be known as the golden fighter and rumors quickly spread about his true identity the golden fighter again huh who the heck is this guy from super saiyan to superhero. That took way too long. I need to hurry. All right. Now we are teen, oh, uh, teen Gohan. Be late. I mean, we I are teenagers. Hurry. I don't remember if seven years passed and he's 16. I mean, he was never a teenager. I don't know why I always remember that they would call him teen, teen Gohan. This crime wave is getting ridiculous. It's been so long, I'm, Man, <laughs> I'm just confused about a bunch hopeless. of shit, apparently. I thought turning into a Super Saiyan would help hide who I am. But I'm still standing out too much. <laughs> yep, I'm yeah. definitely late now. <laughs> jumping like I this. Fly, people will see me for sure. <laughs> you don't think you stand out jumping like that? I, I think so. Seven years have passed since the fight was Cell. Gohan, looking to realize his dreams of becoming a distinguished scholar, enters Orange Star High School to continue his education. Hi, you're the new guy. <laughs> Gohan, is that right? I'm Erisa. Nice to meet you. And this here's Videl. You won't believe this. Videl's dad is none other than the legendary Mr. Satan. Really? M Mr. Satan? See, I told you you weren't going to believe it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. You were late today, weren't you? Did you happen to see the bank robbery in town? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. The golden fighter took out all the bandits. Uh, uh, okay. Why are you so interested in bank robberies? Well, you see, Videl's a bit of a crime fighter herself. Makes total sense, though, right? She is Mr. Satan's daughter. She's really tough. The police even sometimes ask for her help. Wow. You don't say. You know, you've got the same build as the Golden Fighter. <laughs> huh? Huh, I need to do something to mask my identity. Maybe I'll ask Bulma for her input. <laughs> Look who you're talking to. This pushover is no match for a bunch of robbers. Hmm. We've got baseball practice up next, right? We'll find out if you're really tough enough to fight crimes. You've got no hope of getting a hit off my pitches. <laughs> Gotta make sure I hold back most of my strength. Mom and Bulma both warned me to keep my power in check to avoid causing a huge uproar. Man, it sure is hard living a normal life. <laughs> Let's see how you handle my <laughs> ultra fastball. I've got to take this nice and easy. Oh, shit. No way. Home run game. This game's a battle of batting skills. Swing your bat at the right time with circle. You're not getting a single hit off me. <clears throat> All right, punk. Let's go. Okay, strike one. Hold on. It's just a little bit of a strike there. No worries. Go. 
Good. <laughs> That's the game. Okay. Is that it? What the hell is that? What? You actually hit my pitch? I, I just got lucky. That's all. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you're right. Your stance was way off, too. Wow, so even that was too much. I'll head to Bulma's place later and ask her for some advice. I remember this. This was so cool. Something's up with him. And so, after school, Gohan made his way to West City and stopped by Castle Corporation. All right, a great Saiyaman and seven other pages have been updated. People might realize Hopefully you're a golden Bulma fighter. Can help me figure something out. So let's speak to Bulma. The great salmon. Hi, Bulma. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, hey, Gohan. <laughs> What's up? Hmm. You need some sort of disguise to hide your identity. So, do you have any idea how I can do that? Of course, I am a genius, after all. Really? Please, whatever it is, I'll take it. No problem. It'll take some time, though, so sit tight. Thanks. You have no idea how much this will help me. Oh, yeah. Do you know where Trunks is? I'd like to talk to him while I'm waiting. He's probably getting whipped into shape by Vegeta in the gravity <laughs> chamber. Vegeta mentioned something about making him stronger than you. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> wow, he sure is intense. <sighs> He's so jealous all the time, dude. It's hilarious. Oh. The gravity chamber, huh? Where was that again? It was over here, dude. <laughs> Gohan, when did you get here? Little trunks. Not too long ago. The word on the street is that your dad's putting you through some grueling training. Yep. <clears throat> he promised he'd take me to the amusement park if I can land one hit on him. <laughs> really? Vegeta said that? Keep at it then. I know you can do it. Yeah. I'll make sure my dad keeps his promise. Guess I should say hi to Vegeta while I'm here. Hi, Vegeta. Sorry to interrupt. Gohan, look at you. You're out of shape. Even in times of peace, you should be training. <laughs> right. Speaking of training, I hear you're teaching Trunks how to fight. I am. He's more than old enough to prepare himself for real combat by now. And he'll soon surpass you if you keep sitting on your ass like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I gave Trunks some words of encouragement earlier. He's looking forward to going to the amusement park. <laughs> He's only going if he can manage to hit me. But that's not going to happen. What a guy. All right, ask Bulma if your new outfit is ready. Ooh, this ought to be good. Some chicken eggs. Hey, this looks like some high grade stuff. All right, off to Bulma, and here we go. Perfect timing, Gohan. <laughs> it's ready. Not fair. Make me one, Mom. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> I thought it was this always so great. cringe. This will definitely work. I know, right? Thank you so much, Bulma. I'm gonna use this right away. Oh, never mind. I don't want one. <laughs> oh my god. The next morning. All right. I'm heading to school now. You must really like that thing. What with you transforming all the time in the evening. Watch out for airplanes. Right. Good luck today, Gohan. You're so <laughs> cool. <laughs> I know, right? This Goku lookalike is Gohan's younger brother, <laughs> Goten. Just like fucking Goku, man. He is Goku's second son, who was born after the defeat of Cell. I'm telling you, Chi-Chi and Goku pipe, man. Good thing I'm dressed that as the great Saiyan, mm -mm -mm. man. Now, I can fly without worrying about being seen. 
Plus, I'll be on the lookout for evildoers. All right. Let's go. Patrol the streets of Satan City. All right, let's go. Great Saiyaman. Fighting crime one day at a time. This would be a cinch. Okay, so I have to head up to this little alley, perhaps. This one might be tough to take down. Here we go. Am I going the right way? By the way, it feels like I'm not. Flying sure makes the commute easier. Here we go. Okay. This one might be tough to take down. All right, Satan City. Here we go. Where's my school, by the way? I wonder what's going on in town. Huh? <laughs> what's happening? More <laughs> robbers? Jesus Christ. Videl. God damn it, Videl. Still want more? We ain't done yet. Kiss your butt goodbye, little girl. <laughs> Battle files. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. She really is pretty strong. She's gotta be way stronger than her dad. Come on, get up! Don't tell me you're done already! Why, you little... Some hardcore gangsters, man. Oh, what the... <laughs> Who the hell are you? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Me? I'm the vanquisher of evil, defender of justice. <laughs> Dude. The great sailman. Nailed it. Those two hours of practice last night paid off. Uh, how lame. Oh my god. Resistance is futile. Now then, Videl, let's apprehend these fiends. How do you know her name? He knows my name? Hmm. I knew it. There's no way in hell I'm letting this bozo take me in. <laughs> All right, let's take him out, boys. Screw this guy. Let's pump him full of lead. Yeah, he's dead meat. Fools! Justice will always prevail! Dude, they fucked him up so bad, like the character. Oh my god. He, he's some sort of monster! About these ruffians, would you mind escorting them to the police, Videl? They're fine here. I'll make a call and have them picked up. You're pretty strong. You don't want people to know your identity, do you? Oh, uh, yes, that's correct. But are you sure you want to keep this going, Gohan? You're going to be late. <laughs> exactly. That's why I have to hurry. I knew it. Huh? You're that Gohan guy from my class, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Busted. How did you figure it out? I hit the perfect disguise and everything. <laughs> Your voice, mannerisms... Hmm. Plus, you knew my name. Uh, oh, yeah. That was really cool when he teaches her how to fly and stuff. That was awesome. Why are you wearing that ridiculous outfit anyway? Well, it's just... My friends and family just want to live normal lives. I was told to hide my strength, so... Hmm. Uh, uh, um, please don't tell anyone about this. You know, the World Tournament's in about a month. You're going to enter, right? What? The World Tournament? You don't know it? It's a competition to determine the best fighter. They're bringing it back. My dad's the previous champion. And before him, it was some mysterious guy named Goku. 
Hmm. His name's kind of similar to yours. And it's probably not just a coincidence either. You know, I bet that Goku guy is your dad. Hmm. Am I right? I don't think they portrayed it like this in well, the anime, uh, huh? Did they? I think she found out geez, during the tournament. This girl sure is smart as a whip. I don't know. It's been so long. That's what I thought. Or maybe he did tell her, and then so, she saw Goku say? for the first time at the You're tournament. Gonna enter the world Something tournament, like that, right? Uh, well, no. I'm gonna stay out of that. I'm not really interested in competitions like that anyway. In that case, if you don't enter, I'm going to tell everyone that you're the great Saiyaman. What? Oh, come on. We have a deal. Just enter as the great Saiyaman. No one will know it's you. <sighs> Fine. I'll enter the tournament. Great. Then it's settled. Finally, some competition. I was afraid I'd be up against pushovers. I've really gotten myself into a mess now. I did not see this coming. Look, we're almost at school. Oh, also, you need to teach me how to fly. It's not fair if you're the only one who can do that. Oh, uh, okay, sure. I'll I'll head in first. Man, I never imagined anyone would find out my secret this fast. And now, I have to deal with the world tournament. I'll ask Bulma for advice after school. After school. I'm changing to Salmon. <laughs> world tournament, huh? not going to be allowed to wear a helmet or any protective gear but i need to oh. cover my face somehow well time to head to bulma's all right so do we have to go to the world map or yeah we do this is great look at all of this energy all right huh wait that's launch, isn't it? What's she doing over there? Are you okay? Oh, and you are? It's me, Gohan. Oh, Gohan. What's up? Why are you wearing that outfit? <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> Just think of me as a defender of justice. A defender of justice, you say? Anyway, what are you doing here? Oh, right. Yeah, I've kind of got a little problem here. I was hoping to get some advice from Bulma. Maybe she could help. But it looks like she's not here right now. I'm not sure if I should wait for her to come back or not. What do you think? I see. Well, maybe I could help you. Oh, that would be wonderful. Would you, if you don't mind? Of course. I actually wanted to talk to Bulma about something. But seeing as she's gone, I'm free. The great Saiyaman, defender of justice, will do whatever he can to assist you. <laughs> oh, how perfect! A defender of justice such as yourself is just what I need right now. Oh? Huh? So, Tien asked me to look after his farm while he's away training. You know, doing chores and whatnot. But some terrible monsters showed up on the farm and started to attack the village nearby. It was awful. That's not good. So, you just need me to defeat those monsters? Yes, please! That would be wonderful! Look, here's where the village is located. Location of its ma uh, marked on your map. Got it. I'll head over there right away. You should be safe as long as you stay here. Oh, okay. I'll be here then. Be safe. All right. To save the village! More fucking uh, errands to run as great Saiyaman. Yeah, she turned into Launch. <laughs> the blonde one. So, Tien asked Launch to look after his farm, huh? Huh. I didn't know those two were so close. Oh, come on, Monsters man. Monsters on the farm. 
What kind of monsters, I wonder? I remember Launch transforming into a really scary version of herself whenever she sneezes. Probably shouldn't have left her on her own. I hope she's okay. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, so... It's not by Goku's house. It's just in this area. Okay. Just break through all the freaking rocks. <laughs> be a cinch. Okay, we shouldn't be too far off. Right around here. All right, here we go. Ah, the monsters are back! Someone help us! All right, monsters, where are you? <laughs> oh, God. That's one of those creatures that comes out of seeds planted in the ground. <laughs> Your village attacking days are over, evil fiends. Bro, they're not going to know your identity. Stop. <laughs> Jesus. I am the vanquisher of all evil. <laughs> Bro. The defender of justice, the great Saiyan man. <laughs> the defender of justice. I nailed it. <laughs> I don't think they understand you, pal. Honestly, I don't, I don't think they do. Here goes. Well, no, fifty nine. Holy shit. Wow, this is actually pretty rough. I am Super Saiyan 2 right under this helmet. Believe it. Break. Fuck yeah. Oh man, dude. Ah oh, shit. It makes such a big difference when you're Super Saiyan at full power. It's ridiculous. Destroy this village and his farm. Body impact. There we go. Hit him with that break. We got one more left. Oh dude, man, this 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 uh meteor sledge is so freaking useful. Nice. Dude, I've broken all of them. That's insane. What? Ah, oh, so sick. Perfect. Not too shabby for a level 53. All right. That should be all of them. Thank you, stranger. How could we ever repay you? Ha ha ha. It was all in a day's work for the great Saiyan man. Where are the little freaks? <laughs> uh, uh, launch? If you're looking for the monsters, <clears throat> they're not here. I took care of them. What? So I'm too late, huh? Man, I was hoping to mess them up real good. Now, now, they're too dangerous for you to fight. One of them actually killed Yamcha a long time ago. <laughs> Whatever. Looks like those things caused you some trouble. That's for sure. Well, I'm fine, but uh, I think a lot of the villagers are hurt. Yeah, those things made a mess of our supplies and businesses. Ah, that reminds me. I found some vegetables when I took care of the monsters. Those are probably from Tien's farm. <laughs> you know he likes farming. <laughs> Hold up a sec. Uh, uh, oh my. Where am I? Uh, launch? Oh, those are some rather tasty looking vegetables. Well, if you don't mind, I could use them to make something delicious and nutritious for everyone. Polar opposites. That's what you call a chronic, chronic, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, I forgot the name for that. What do you say? When you have like split personalities. That'd be great. We'll chronic need bipolar, the energy to rebuild everything those monsters destroyed. I'll go pick some more vegetables from Tien's farm then. Gohan, would you mind helping me? We can get them cooking in no time. Hmm. Oh, sure thing. I, uh, I mean, uh, who is this Gohan? Hmm, I'm the great Saiya man. <laughs> Oops, that's right. <laughs> the great Saiya man. Oh, man. I want to go to the world tournament already, bro. That was so badass. Best. Yeah, the veggies were super fresh. This stuff would be a huge hit at my restaurant launch. 
It's the best I've ever tasted. I'm so glad you feel that way. I love for the dishes I make with Tian's vegetables to be enjoyed by others at a real restaurant. <laughs> I do enjoy cooking for everyone. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> I need to find a way to talk about it with the other me, though. Maybe you could do that some other time. Well, then, <clears throat> I'm off. <laughs> Maybe you could okay. do that some other time. Thank you again for your help, Mr. Great Saiyan Man. A million? Wow. So is some time going to pass by? No? Well, that's an awful lot of XP just for that. All right, back to West City. Bomo's place. To protect his identity when fighting crime, Gohan created a superhero alter ego he calls the Great Saiyan Man. Unfortunately, his true identity is quickly discovered by his classmate, Del. I wonder right, if Bulma's go. home. I hope she is, because we got business to attend to, man. Oh, oh hey, Gohan. You here to see my mom? Sure am. Is she here by chance? Yep, sure is. Come on in. Oh, wow. You're going to enter the next world tournament? Why? Well, you see, hmm. one of my classmates is Mr. Satan's daughter. Mr. Satan? <laughs> you mean that blowhard who embarrassed himself in the fight with Cell? The world martial arts champion has a daughter and she's your classmate? Yeah, she's a good person and tough too. She helped me fight off some bad guys in town. Unfortunately, she figured out who I am. I guess my voice gave me away. She told me she's going to tell everyone I'm the great Saiyan man if I don't enter the tournament. Well, that was pretty clumsy of you. No matter how hard you try, you'll always have that in common with your father. So, what do you need me to do? Want me to modify your helmet to mask your voice? No, not that. I won't be allowed to wear a helmet or any other protective gear during the tournament. The rules are pretty strict about that. So, I was wondering if there was some other way of masking my true identity. Hmm. So you can't wear anything that'll significantly reduce damage, huh? Hmm. Piece of cake! We just need to make sure that people won't know it's you, right? Doesn't he, he get like a bandana or something? Yeah, Whoa. and sunglasses. Much this cooler. This is great. Hmm. It's simple yet effective. Thanks. What do you think, Trunks? Pretty spiffy, right? No comment. But you know, <laughs> even if you hold back a lot, you're still going to clean house. Sounds kind of boring. Oh, we'll see about that. If you're going to enter that tournament, <laughs> then perhaps I should as well. What? There was a considerable gap between us before, but I do wonder <laughs> how it is now. While you have been slacking off, I've been continuing my training non-stop. Uh... Yeah, and instead of training, you should have gotten a job. He's just like your dad. I swear, you Saiyans are just a bunch of lazy bums. Whoa! You and my dad are gonna fight each other? Count, Count me in, too! Oh, that's right. <laughs> Dad? For a second, I thought it was Yamcha. I don't know why. That's my dad's voice. <laughs> Dad. Kakarot. Yep. Long time no see. I mean, here. King Kai is helping me reach all of you from Otherworld. Sounds like I'm coming in crystal clear. Dad, how have you been? Huh? Eh, not too bad. I'd say I've been doing okay for a dead guy. Right, but... Can you really enter the world tournament? Yeah, most definitely. Fortune teller Baba's gonna let me come back for an entire day. You and Vegeta are gonna enter, right? Then I'm in too. Oh man, that's dope. All right. Huh? Hooray! I'm looking forward to that. You'd better be prepared. I've gotten a lot stronger. Same here, Vegeta. All right, guys. <laughs> See you at the world He's already of, uh, capable of turning Super Saiyan 2 and 3 That's great by the news, world Gohan. tournament. He just doesn't reveal it yet. Go tell your mom. Towards Majin Buu. Goten, Krillin, and the others. Right. 
This should be interesting. Oh, Vegeta, you'll need to wear a costume like this to hide your identity. Hell no! I have no need to hide who I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm off to go tell everyone. Dude, if I had those powers and I looked like that, I, I'm not hiding from anybody. Okay, just saying. First on the list is Krillin. I hope he's at Kame House. And of course, we got Krillin now with hair and Goku's gonna a be daughter. There? No way. Well, now it's been ages since I've seen him. The World Tournament, huh? Uh, I guess I could enter. Yeah, but if you, Goku, and Vegeta are gonna be in it. Then I've got no hope of winning at all. You should still enter. Even fifth place gets a cash reward. How much cash are we talking? Oh, uh, well, the champion gets 10 million zenny. Second place gets 5 million. Third place gets three. Fourth place, two. So fifth place gets 1 million, I guess. We're entering the tournament, Krillin. Both of <laughs> us. Uh, okay. Mommy and Daddy are going somewhere? That's right, Marin. Mommy and Daddy are going to work hard and earn a lot of money. Hooray! Good luck, Mommy and Daddy! Uh, right. Daddy's going to do his best. Hey, don't tell Piccolo, okay? If he enters, then my chances of getting fifth place are shot. Uh, you know I can't promise that. By the way, uh, what's with the super lame getup, huh? Hey, it's not super lame. It's cool. You've lost your sense of style, Krillin. Bye. Yeah, later. Yeah, Krillin doesn't look good with hair. Sorry, Krillin. I don't know why, but... But I've got to tell Piccolo, too. One of those very few individuals that just doesn't look good with hair. Better hurry to Kami's lookout. I wonder if Piccolo will enter. Who knows? Maybe Dende will too. <laughs> I guess some of these all right. orbs. I'm here. This is great. Look at all time. this energy. This is incredible. It's giving off a ton of energy. And of I course, see. Dende is also bigger well, as that well. That sounds interesting. Right? Fine. Count me in. What about you, Dende? Oh, <laughs> I won't be entering. I'm not a warrior type Namekian. So Gohan. What's with the strange outfit? Aw, you too, Piccolo. What? You don't think this looks super cool? Uh, you're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> All right. I'd better get back. Right. Okay, see you later. I'm sure Mom will be really happy to hear Dad's gonna be back. Even if only for one day. Goten's finally gonna be able to meet his dad. Oh yeah. Yeah. I sure hope mom will let me join the tournament. It'd be really nice if I ended up winning. I'd better take a break from school and focus on my training. <laughs> All right, we're here. What? Goku's coming back from the other world to enter the world tournament? Nice to see his kids. Just saying. Well, <laughs> how come you didn't tell me sooner? This is great. Goten, you'll finally get to spend a day with your dad. Huh? Oh, no. I bet Goku hasn't aged at all, but I look so much older. You don't age there, right? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, Mom, th uh, <laughs> Do you think it would be okay for me to enter too? The champion gets 10 million zenny, and the runner up gets 5 million. 10 million zenny? You're entering, Gohan. If you and Goku both win, we'll get 15 million zenny, right? Well, that's if we win. We can't say for sure whether we will or not just yet. What are you talking about? Of course you two will win. Oh, this must be a blessing from above. All of my father's money was just about to run out. So, Goten, want to help your big brother train? Yeah. The next day. Thanks for waiting, Goten. Hmm. First, let's start off with a little sparring match. 
This is where he goes Super Saiyan for the first time. That's right. Okay. First, I'll turn into a Super Saiyan. Ha! Come at me. Hey, that's not fair. Can I go Super Saiyan too? Huh? Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're ready for that just yet, Goten. <laughs> Goten! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, you nice. got Nice! When did oh, you learn how to shit. do that? Um... I forget. Unbelievable. But hey, this works in my favor. Now I've got a better training partner. All right, let's do this. Yeah! Bring it off. All right. Oh, shit. Got him. Sorry, little bro. I don't mean to kill you like this. But, uh, you know, I mean business. Nice. Dude, I love this meteor sledge here. It's amazing. Oops. Sorry. What? He's still here? I'm impressed. Damn. Not bad, Goten. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge up full power. Hold on. Get the fuck up off me, nerd. Dude, what is this little kid doing right now? <laughs> Jesus. Charge up, charge up. All right. We got to bring him back to uh, like a health is similar to ours. Nah, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Oh, shit. Back off. Oh, my. <laughs> Dude, this little twerp. Where was Skeleton and Trunks uh, when we needed them? Right back in the cell games. I mean, Trunks was there, but this one actually turned Super Saiyan way younger. Get the fuck up off me. Nice. All right, his health is depleting, which is good. Now I just gotta charge my key, which is something he doesn't let me do much. Oh shit! I broke his uh his guard. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh no, oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sorry, pal. But I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go crazy on you right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sorry, dude. That's enough for now. It was actually pretty difficult. It was. It was good. I only got an A, which kind of sucks, but whatever. You know, let me charge up my key a lot. Man. I didn't count on you going Super Saiyan Goten. You know, you're actually helping me out a ton. Great job. <laughs> Hold on a second. So. Does that mean Trunks can become a Super Saiyan too? Yeah, just like me. <laughs> yep, 
You know, your big brother really had to struggle to become one. Well, anyway, I think that's enough training for everyone today. Hey! Are you sure you're not here to ask my Gohan out on a date? I said that's not why I'm here! Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you found the place pretty easy. Yeah, I just looked in the school directory. But enough of that. You promised you'd teach me how to fly, remember? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Of course, I'll teach you. Hmm. You'd better not try anything naughty with my Gohan. You hear me? I'd never do anything like that. Ew, no! <laughs> well, <laughs> so much for a simple training session. You did it! You're airborne! You're floating! Phew! That was incredible! You learned how to float in just one day! Yeah, well... Your little brother's been flying circles around me in the same amount of time! Well, that's because he was able to learn how to control his energy early on in his training. But, once you get the hang of that, you'll be up and flying in no time at all. Trust me, you're doing great. I'll be back tomorrow then. Huh? I want to learn more about this energy. Or is my coming back a problem? N n no way. <laughs> it's not like that at all. Then I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. What? Uh, about your hair. I think uh, you should cut it shorter. Huh? So... You prefer girls with short hair? Is that it? What? N no! I, I just thought having shorter hair would be advantageous in, you know, in a fight. Mind your own business! It's my hair, so I'll do what I want with it! <laughs> why, why did she get all angry like that? <sighs> Beats me. Oh, God. The next day. He's <laughs> just got short hair. Okay, let's pick up where we left off yesterday. Yeah, I don't understand this girl <laughs> at all. Vegeta and Trunks were preparing themselves for the tournament as well, training under harsh conditions inside the gravity chamber at Capsule Corporation. Don't overdo it, Trunks. You should still get out while you can. 150 times gravity is too much for a kid like you. Hmm. <sighs> yep, that's what I thought. I better become a Super Saiyan before I get <laughs> I remember this episode. Vegeta loses his shit. What the? <laughs> piece of cake, piece of cake. Oh my God. When, when did he... You've got to be kidding me. He was able to transform into the Super Saiyan of Legend that easily? Trunks. Hmm. Yeah? Can Gohan's little brother also become a Super Saiyan? Tell me. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Some sort of Super Saiyan bargain sale? Damn it! What the hell is this world coming to? <laughs> oh man, that's fucking awesome. Wow. Adele's really something else. She's flying like a pro now, and she's only been at it for 10 days. Ah, <sighs> now that that's taken care of, I can finally get some serious training in with Goten. Not too much longer now until mm. Dad comes back and the tournament starts. All right. With the tournament fast approaching, hmm. each bright-eyed and hopeful participant poured all of their energy into finishing their training. All right. Oh, yeah. At last, the day had arrived. The day of the long-awaited world tournament. 
Finally, the day of the tournament. I need to stay focused if I want to win. Naturally, I'm looking forward to the tournament, hmm. but I'm honestly more excited about seeing my dad. I've grown a lot since I last saw him. I bet he'll be really surprised. <laughs> right, let me get this thing here. Um, put a party and see if, if there's any other changes that I can do to go on or whatever since it's been so long. This is rapid fire key wave. I need to learn. And actually, there's nothing here yet. What is this? Super Saiyan 2. Hmm. Limit Breaker Masenko. Huh. These are higher levels. I'm not even that level yet. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of... uh. Yeah, not yet. We're, we're not ready for that stuff yet. All right. So we'll head to the tournament. Gotta make sure I go unnoticed at the tournament. That means... I can't go Super Saiyan either. Better make sure Vegeta's in the loop as well. The day of the world tournament finally arrives, and Goku is reunited at last with his family and friends. The group then enters the arena. Who will emerge victorious in the tournament? There's something truly special about being able to fight in the world tournament. It's such an honor. Gotta make sure I go unnoticed at the tournament. That means I can't go Super Saiyan either. Better make sure Vegeta's in the loop as well. Wow, everyone's really excited about the tournament. All right, here we are. Entering the world tournament. Went all the way back from Dragon Ball. Let's see. I'm not forgetting <laughs> anything. Am I? Mm, if you continue, you'll be unable to do the following until you complete the game. Having Chi Chi make full course meals, have Bulma build hover cars, bipedal robo walkers, support any matter progress to Master Roshi. Yeah, I should be good to go. Okay, where is everyone? Oh man. We're in the final chapters of the game now, boys. Oh. There they are. <sighs> hey, Gohan. Took your sweet time, didn't you? This is the cool cutscene. <laughs> Sorry about that. Man, this place sure is packed, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Pretty annoying, huh? <laughs> wow. 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 It's Mr. Satan. Look, Mr. Satan's here. Mr. Satan, huh? <laughs> Looks like Earth's Heroes has shown up at last. <laughs> Hello to all my adoring fans around the world. Are you ready? <laughs> Mr. Satan! Mr. Satan! Mr. Satan! He sure is popular, huh? It's Mr. Piccolo! Piccolo! Have you seen my dad anywhere? Dude, he's tall no, as hell. No sign of him yet. Huh. Gohan, uh, I have to ask, are you really going to wear that? What could be taking Goku so long? Maybe he's already in the waiting room. There it is, my boy. <laughs> hey, guys! <sighs> my boy, Goku, man. The evil wizard Babidi's machinations. Hmm. Goku! Hey! <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> this wow. is going to be an epic, sure epic couple of episodes, bunch. man. How have you all been? Goku! It's good to have you back. <laughs> Goku! <laughs> Goku! <laughs> Goku! Dad! 
<laughs> huh? <laughs> Look, Goten, it's your father. Whoa! <laughs> That's my son? Wow, he looks just like me. <laughs> What's wrong, Goten? There's no need to be shy. His name's Goten, huh? I like it! You've got 24 hours. That's it. Thanks, fortune teller Baba! Well, this is as far as we can go. Break a leg out there, guys. Thanks. We'll catch up with you later. See ya! All right. Hey, Goten, want to do some exploring around this place? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's go. I wonder what characters right. we get to Let's play go with check here. Out what's going on over there? Hmm. I feel like we may actually play with Goten and Trunks. See, I knew it. The world tournament begins. Look at all this stuff. This is cool. Hey, there's trunks. Hey, Goten, check it out. Look at all the places we can buy stuff. Yeah. We should buy our mom something. Good idea. Let's check out what they've got here and then figure out what to get them. Yeah, let's go! Whoa, what's that? Hey, wait up! Talk to Trunks. Man, I wish we could fight everyone too. This is when yeah, they come out with the costume. Yeah, but be able to beat my brother or Vegeta. <laughs> But I bet we'll totally be able to beat them when we're older. Hmm. Let's check that out over there. We'll go over here. Trunks up to no good, of course. <laughs> they rob one of the fighters' freaking costume. Uh-oh. I think our moms might be looking for us. They're not gonna let us buy anything if they're angry at us. I know. We'll say you got lost and that I was looking for you. Yeah. What? I'm the one that got lost. That's how it's got to be. It'll be more believable for me to look for you since I'm older. All right. Peace. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's not fair. Tr All right. So go back to the tournaments. Goten, I found you! Yeah, sorry. Uh, I got separated. Oh, really? Don't you mean you were both wandering around? W what? Uh, how'd you know? Goten, you just gave us away! That's what I thought, Goten. It's rude to lie to people. That's right, Trunks. You're older and you should know better than this. We're sorry. We're sorry. All right, that's enough of that. Let's head to the arena. Right. If we don't hurry, there won't be any seats left. You ready, Goten? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, the World Tournament Arena. Oh, shit. We are about to go to the World Tournament. Meanwhile, Goku and the others made their way the arena for the selection round. Jeez! Hmm. Look at all these people! A lot more popular now than it was probably before. Wasn't it like Attention, that? Attention all world tournament participants! We will soon begin the selection process! I'm so happy they got all the voice actors, or at least it the majority like of them. This is the, the characters. biggest turnout we've had in years! But only the best 16 of you <laughs> will have a chance to compete! Since the returning champion, Mr. Satan, will automatically be allowed to compete, 
That means only 15 of you will be advancing. Let's find out who that'll be. Hmm. To keep things fair, we'll be testing everyone's strength with this punching machine. <laughs> Those with the 15 highest scores will be selected to fight in the tournament. Punching machine? What the heck is that? Let's see if any of you have what it takes to beat our champion, Mr. Satan's high score. We're expecting some great scores. Now, let's begin the World Tournament Selection Round. And so the selection process for the World Tournament began. Given their otherworldly strength, Gohan and the others were quickly able to secure spots in the tournament. Good thing we did all that training and made it through, huh? <laughs> Not like there was any worry there. Hmm? Supreme Kai. <laughs> Greetings. You must be Goku. Kabito Shin. Huh? How do you know who I am? I've heard of you before. May I shake your hand? Sure. <laughs> nice to meet you. Just as I'd heard, you have a good spirit. Huh? Now, if you'll excuse me. What? Who the hell was that? I'm not sure, but, you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that this tournament's not going to be a walk in the park after all. Everybody here looks like a pushover except those two. <sighs> and hmm. those. What's with those guys? Popovich. They look kind of weird. Like they're more powerful than they should be. They're under the spell, the Majin spell. So the world tournament be great. was finally be underway. Great. Most of the Z warriors were spread out across the matches. However, Goku and Vegeta <laughs> were fatefully paired against each other for the sixth match of the first round. Krillin set the tone for the tournament by making short work of his opponent in the first match. In the second match, Piccolo found himself standing before the enigmatic Shin. However, <sighs> what is this? What is going on? Why am I having such a hard time with this guy? This isn't right. Who the hell is he? You'll find that out soon enough. <laughs> Let's just enjoy the game for now. <gasps> Count me out. I forfeit. Huh? You forfeit? You're not going to fight anymore? That's right. I see. So he's the former guardian of this planet. Perhaps he's realized who I am then. Well, let's keep things rolling. Time for our third match. Next, it's Videl versus Spopovich. Oh, man, she gets fucking brutally destroyed. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, you're not. Uh, not what exactly? Uh, you're not the, uh, the Grand Kai, are you? No. I am not. He's the Supreme Kai. <laughs> the Supreme Kai? Please keep that to yourself for now. I don't want others to know just yet. So, you're even higher than the Grand Kai, who's above the four Kais. I mean, I'd heard about gods above the Kais before, but I didn't know they actually existed. Hey, Piccolo. Something wrong? Don't tell me that guy's already talking trash. You want me to have a word with him? <laughs> no, don't! No, keep your mouth shut. Do not say anything, you hear me? Huh? Meanwhile, Videl was trading blows with the muscle-bound Spopovich in the third match. <laughs> Gets owned. Though Videl was a much more capable fighter, <laughs> She was quickly overpowered by Spopovich's abnormal strength. Uh. I can't 
can't quite put my finger on it. But there's something seriously off about that guy. Like he's not using his own power. That... monster! You gave it your best! Tap out! Just throw in the towel, Videl! Uh, no... Oh, wait... I... I'm not... giving up... <laughs> Jesus Christ. God damn, bro. That's it. I've had enough. That jerk's going down. <laughs> that was sick. Okay, come on, take it easy, Gohan. No. That's enough, Spopovich. You've had your fun. We came here for something far more important than this. Hurry up and win the match. Yeah, okay. Ring out! Spopovich wins the match! Fidel! Spopovich! <laughs> Dude, he looks awkwardly I'm not big. Get away with this. You hear me? Should I call for a stretcher? No. I'll carry her myself. Well, didn't he just give away his identity there? He beat that guy's head in for me. You got it. If I win my next match, I'll be up against him in the fight after that. Hmm. Go on. I've got some sensu beans. Thank goodness. Huh. Fidel, you're gonna have to trust me on this. But could you eat this bean? <sighs> Anything <laughs> from you. <laughs> Probably has some mysterious power behind it, right? Yeah. You should be fine now. But it'd be best for you to take it easy for a while here. Thank you, Gohan. Gotta go. Everyone's waiting. She looks like she's five years old. <laughs> <laughs> found himself facing the mysterious Kabito in the fourth match. Transform into that Super Saiyan form of yours. I want to see if you truly have what it takes to help our cause. Huh? How do you know about Super Saiyans? And what do you mean, help our cause? You will find out soon enough. First, I want to see the power of a Super Saiyan. Uh, are you kidding? I can't just transform into a Super Saiyan in front of everyone. Hmm. I can't hear what they're talking about. He told Gohan to transform into a Super Saiyan. Gohan! Piccolo! <laughs> What's up, Piccolo? You know what's going on? Uh, I'm not sure, but... <sighs> Our apologies, but Gohan will be assisting us with something for the time being. All of you must promise that you will not get involved, no matter what happens. I trust I can count on you. 
it. What? Wait, what do you mean? You honestly think we're just going to do whatever you say? Tell us who you are. <laughs> uh, he's, uh, the Supreme Kai. <laughs> he rules over all the Kais. He's a god. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. King Kai told me about you. So you're the Supreme Kai. Huh. All right. I'll transform into a Super Saiyan. Not sure why you'd want me to, though. Why don't I take it one step further <laughs> and transform into something beyond a Super Saiyan? Take it to the next level. What? Beyond a Super <laughs> Saiyan? I didn't know about that. <laughs> ah, shit. This energy's incredible. That's our guy. He he transformed. <laughs> Gohan transformed. You gotta be kidding me. We're taking that energy. Make sure he doesn't try to escape, Spopovich. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Who are you? <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, God. That's it. We've got enough energy now. Let's do it. I actually forgot about that. They drain him out of his energy until I see it now. Now it like, hits me. and like, yeah, that did happen, as a matter of fact. Wait, don't move. Not yet. He'll be fine. Kabito will restore his strength shortly. I intend to follow those two and learn where they're taking Gohan's energy. Hmm. If you wish to join me, you are more than welcome to do so. I could use your help. <laughs> oh, God. So, what are you going to do, Goku? I'm going to go with him. You heard him, didn't you, Krillin? He could really use our help in this. Besides, I have to know what this is all about. Uh, then I, I guess I'll go too. I don't think so, Kakarot. Did you forget about your match with me? Uh, come on. This isn't the time for that, okay, Vegeta? Don't blow me off. The actions of that supreme whatever aren't my concern in the slightest. All I care about is settling the score with you once and for all. That's the whole reason I joined the stupid tournament in the first place. I hear ya, I hear ya. It doesn't have to be here, but we'll fight later. I promise, all right? Idiot. You're only back from Otherworld <laughs> for one day, remember? Hey, you should come to Otherworld with me. We can fight there. <laughs> Let's go. We're like, what? They're, they're just leaving? They're just flying out of the tournament? What the fuck's going on here? Tell me, can I really trust you with Gohan? It'll be fine. After I finish healing him, I will be joining you. I'm sure he'll follow soon thereafter. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. It's extremely late here. So you've decided to come then. Great Thank you. Boo. I don't think we have much of a chance without your help. Much of a chance? You mean against those two guys? No, not those two. They're merely pawns. <laughs> At the beck and call of an evil wizard. A wizard? Yes. Right around the time mankind began to walk upright here on Earth, an evil wizard named Bibbity lived in a distant corner of the universe. One day, Bibbity happened to create a terrifyingly powerful monster. That monster was Boo, an untenable and fearsome Machin. In a few short years, hundreds of once vibrant planets were reduced to nothing but ashes. Majin Buu's power was so great that even his creator struggled to control him. 
Bibbidi had no other recourse but to temporarily seal Majin Buu away. I was able to use that chance to defeat Bibbidi. However, I failed to realize that Bibbidi had a child. Bobbidi. His son Bobbidi, who was filled with just as much evil as his father. There. You're healed, Gohan. <laughs> wow, I feel great. Come with me. I will tell you everything. Can I come too? <laughs> There's so much I want to know. Please? Can you just promise me you'll run if things get dangerous? Sure. All right then. Let's go. Everybody's leaving the fucking tournament. <laughs> oh my god. Majin Buu, huh? Wow. Okay. So then what were those Spopovich and Yamu guys doing at the tournament? Hmm. In order to break the long-held seal on Majin Buu, a large, pure energy source is needed. Those two were sent to the tournament to gather that energy. We won't be able to reach the others at this rate. We need to increase our speed. I can't fly any faster than this! Okay. You'd better head back then. Things are far worse than I feared. Guess I'm gonna have to, huh? That's too bad. But I think I finally learned something. It wasn't my dad that beat Cell back then. <laughs> it was you guys, right? Well, uh... I knew it. I thought something was off when I heard my dad beat him. That clears things up. Good luck, Gohan. Pulverize that wizard Bobbity and save the world. Right. Don't die on me, Gohan. I want to go on a date with you when you get back. Are you done? We need to hurry after the Supreme Kai. Right. Sorry about that. 